Jared Mason Diamond born September 10, 1937, is an American geographer, historian, and author best known for his popular science books The Third Chimpanzee 1991, Guns, Germs, and Steel 1997, awarded a Pulitzer Prize, Collapse 2005, and The World Until Yesterday 2012. Originally trained in physiology, Diamond is known for drawing from a variety of fields, including anthropology, ecology, geography and evolutionary biology. He is a professor of geography at UCLA. In 2005, Diamond was ranked ninth on a poll by Prospect and Foreign Policy of the world's top 100 public intellectuals. Topic: Early life and education. Diamond was born in Boston, Massachusetts, United States. Both of his parents were from East European Jewish families who had emigrated to the United States. His father, Louis Diamond, was a physician, and his mother, Flora Kaplan, a teacher, linguist, and concert pianist. Diamond himself began studying piano at age six. Years later he would propose to his wife after playing the Brahms intermezzo in A minor for her. He attended the Roxbury Latin School and earned a Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology and History from Harvard College in 1958 and a Ph.D. on the Physiology and Biophysics of Membranes in the Gall Bladder from Trinity College, University of Cambridge in 1961. Topic. Career After graduating from Cambridge, Diamond returned to Harvard as a junior fellow until 1965, and, in 1968, became a professor of physiology at UCLA Medical School. While in his twenties he developed a second, parallel, career in ornithology and ecology, specializing in New Guinea and nearby islands. Later, in his fifties, Diamond developed a third career in environmental history and became a professor of geography at UCLA, his current position. He also teaches at Louis Guido Carli in Rome. He won the National Medal of Science in 1999 and Westfield State University granted him an honorary doctorate in 2009. Diamond originally specialized in salt absorption in the gall bladder. He has also published scholarly works in the fields of ecology and ornithology, but is arguably best known for authoring a number of popular science books combining topics from diverse fields other than those he has formally studied. Because of this academic diversity, Diamond has been described as a polymath. Topic. Popular science works Topic. The Third Chimpanzee 1991. Diamond's first popular book, The Third Chimpanzee, The Evolution and Future of the Human Animal 1991, examines human evolution and its relevance to the modern world, incorporating evidence from anthropology, evolutionary biology, genetics, ecology, and linguistics. The book traces how humans evolved to be so different from other animals, despite sharing over 98% of our DNA with our closest animal relatives, the chimpanzees. The book also examines the animal origins of language, art, agriculture, smoking and drug use, and other apparently uniquely human attributes. It was well received by critics and won the 1992 Roan Poulenc Prize for Science Books and the Los Angeles Times Book Prize. Topic. Guns, Germs, and Steel 1997. His second and best-known popular science book, Guns, Germs, and Steel, The Fates of Human Societies, was published in 1997. It asks why Eurasian peoples conquered or displaced Native Americans, Australians, and Africans, instead of vice versa. It argues that this outcome was not due to biological advantages of Eurasian peoples themselves but instead to features of the Eurasian continent, in particular, its high diversity of wild plant and animal species suitable for domestication and its east-west major axis that favored the spread of those domesticates, people, and technologies for long distances with little change in latitude. The first part of the book focuses on reasons why only a few species of wild plants and animals proved suitable for domestication. The second part discusses how local food production based on those domesticates led to the development of dense and stratified human populations, writing, centralized political organization, and epidemic infectious diseases. The third part compares the development of food production and of human societies among different continents and world regions. 
Guns, Germs, and Steel became an international bestseller, was translated into 33 languages, and received several awards, including a Pulitzer Prize, an Aventus Prize for Science Books and the 1997 Phi Beta Kappa Award in Science. A television documentary series based on the book was produced by the National Geographic Society in 2005. Topic. Why is Sex Fun, 1997 In his third book, Why is Sex Fun?, also published in 1997, Diamond discusses evolutionary factors underlying features of human sexuality that are generally taken for granted but that are highly unusual among our animal relatives. Those features include a long-term pair relationship marriage, coexistence of economically cooperating pairs within a shared communal territory, provision of parental care by fathers as well as by mothers, having sex in private rather than in public, concealed ovulation, female sexual receptivity encompassing most of the menstrual cycle including days of infertility, female but not male menopause, and distinctive secondary sexual characteristics. Collapse 2005. Diamond's next book, Collapse, How Societies Choose to Fail or Succeed, published in 2005, examines a range of past societies in an attempt to identify why they either collapsed or continued to thrive and considers what contemporary societies can learn from these historical examples. As in Guns, Germs, and Steel, he argues against explanations for the failure of past societies based primarily on cultural factors, instead focusing on ecology. Among the societies mentioned in the book are the Norse and Inuit of Greenland, the Maya, the Anasazi, the indigenous people of Rapa Nui Easter Island, Japan, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and modern Montana. The book concludes by asking why some societies make disastrous decisions, how big businesses affect the environment, what our principal environmental problems are today, and what individuals can do about those problems. Like guns, germs, and steel, Collapse was translated into dozens of languages, became an international bestseller, and was the basis of a television documentary produced by the National Geographic Society. It was also nominated for the Royal Society Prize for Science Books. Topic. Vengeance is ours. Controversy 2008. In 2008, Diamond published an article in The New Yorker entitled, Vengeance is ours, describing the role of revenge in tribal warfare in Papua New Guinea. A year later two indigenous people mentioned in the article filed a lawsuit against Diamond and The New Yorker claiming the article defamed them. In 2013, The Observer reported that the lawsuit was withdrawn by mutual consent after the sudden death of their lawyer. Topic: <laughs> Natural Experiments in History 2010. In 2010, Diamond co-edited with James Robinson Natural Experiments of History, a collection of seven case studies illustrating the multidisciplinary and comparative approach to the study of history that he advocates. The book's title stems from the fact that it is not possible to study history by the preferred methods of the laboratory sciences, i.e., by controlled experiments comparing replicated human societies as if they were test tubes of bacteria. Instead, one must look at natural experiments in which human societies that are similar in many respects have been historically perturbed, either by different starting conditions or by different impacts. The book's afterward classifies natural experiments, discusses the practical difficulties of studying them, and offers suggestions on how to address those difficulties. Topic: The World Until Yesterday 2012. Diamond's most recent book, The World Until Yesterday, published in 2012, asks what the western world can learn from traditional societies. It surveys 39 traditional small-scale societies of farmers and hunter-gatherers with respect to how they deal with universal human problems. The problems discussed include dividing space, resolving disputes, bringing up children, treatment of elders, dealing with dangers, formulating religions, learning multiple languages, and remaining healthy. The book suggests that some practices of traditional societies could be usefully adopted in the modern industrial world today, either by individuals or else by society as a whole. Topic. Personal life 
Diamond is married to Marie Cohen, granddaughter of Polish politician Edward Werner. They have twin sons, born in 1987. Topic. Boards Editorial Board of the Skeptic Magazine, a publication of the Skeptic Society. Member of the American Philosophical Society. Member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Member of the National Academy of Sciences. U.S. Regional Director of the World Wide Fund for Nature. Topic. Awards and honors Zaglossus Bartoni Diamandi was named in honor of Jared Diamond. Topic. Selected bibliography 1992, The Third Chimpanzee, The Evolution and Future of the Human Animal ISBN 0-06-098403-1 1997, Why is Sex Fun? ISBN 0-465-03127-7 1997, Guns, Germs, and Steel, The Fates of Human Societies ISBN 978-0-099-30278-0 also published with the title Guns, Germs and Steel, A Short History of Everybody for the Last 13,000 Years ISBN 978-0099302780 2005, Collapse, How Societies Choose to Fail or Succeed ISBN 978-0241958681 2010, Natural Experiments of History, with James A. Robinson ISBN 0 674 03557 7 2012, The World Until Yesterday, What Can We Learn from Traditional Societies? ISBN 978-0141024486 2015, The Third Chimpanzee for Young People, The Evolution and Future of the Human Animal ISBN 9781609806264 See also Assembly rules Comparative history Environmental determinism List of important publications in anthropology Arnold J. Toynbee Topic. References Topic. External links Personal website Diamonds page at the UCLA Department of Geography UCLA Spotlight – Jared Diamond Jared Diamond with Bio, Conversations, Podcasts at the Third Culture, Edge Foundation Jared Diamond at TED Jared Diamond, Why Do Societies Collapse? TED 2003 Jared Diamond, How Societies Can Grow Old Better TED 2013 Collapse, How Societies Choose to Fail or Succeed at the Earth Institute at Columbia University, April 2007 the Evolution of Religions on YouTube at the Center for Religion and Civic Culture, University of Southern California PBS, Guns, Germs and Steel at PBS with full transcripts What Can We Learn from Traditional Societies? At Royal Institution, October 2013 Hammer Conversation with Jared Diamond and John Long, Hammer Museum, March 16, 2010 Interview with Charlie Rose Interview with Jared Diamond and James A. Robinson about natural experiments of history at New Books in History Jared Diamond on IMDb